morning everyone um i just wanted to say good morning first of all and second of all just share that um um just the thought that was on my mind this morning just popped in there um i i was sitting up here thinking like i know how i hear a lot of people saying um man that person treated me bad or that person did me dirty or that person did this or that to me so I'm going to treat them accordingly and it's nothing wrong with that but then it is something wrong with that because at the end of the day stay true to who you are I've learned that when I don't respond to those type of people or those type of things people are going to talk about you every day they're going to find something wrong something to talk about something bad it don't matter they do it to the celebrities what makes you think they're not going to do it to you shoot they did it to Jesus so they did it to they do it to anybody because people you some miserable people out here it's people out here that because they feel like if they don't deserve something good nobody deserves something good like misery loves company so what i've learned over my 46 years <laughs> is that you have to kind of just let people be who they are you gotta let people just stay who they are and be true to themselves because at the end of the day it's up to you to decide on whether or not you want to keep dealing with people that treat you dirty or that do you wrong or that that mess you over or whatever the case may be. You stay true to who you are because I've I've seen it happen and it's it's crazy how I've seen it happen, but because I didn't change up who I was, now I might not be around that person that much anymore or I might step back, but if you live anywhere in the metropolitan area, Maryland, D.C., or Virginia, in the DMV, whatever you want to call it, you live anywhere in this area, it's no way possible to avoid people, really. Like, because it's like six degrees of separation in this area. Like, everybody knows everybody at some point. Everybody meets up at some point. But you have to stay true to who you are. I don't, I'm not going to switch up who I am. I am who I am. And, it, and that's all it is and either you're going to deal with it or you don't and that's fine either way I'm cool either way but at the end of the day if I if I spoke before I'm going to keep speaking I ain't wanting a long conversation for you but I'm going to keep speaking if, if, if I see a post on Facebook that say pray for me even though I know you've been talking dirty about me behind my back and you've been telling people this and that about me behind my back that's not true um then yeah i'm gonna be like you know what prayers up to you prayers up for you for you and your family why because god's got me on a different plane than than i was before when i was in my 30s and my 20s god's got me somewhere else right now and i'm elevating i'm elevating my thought process i'm elevating my mind i'm elevating my spirit i'm elevating my body everything Everything's happening the way God has it planned and set for me. And what I'm not going to do is mess up my blessing because of somebody else and their issues. So what you need to do is elevate yourself above whatever issues other people have or wherever anybody else want to put you. Elevate yourself above that and watch God work in your life. Let stuff go. The more you hold on to it, the longer you stay in your valley situation. I'm at the mountaintop and I ain't coming down. Don't let nobody bring you off your mountain. The valley ain't, the valley's cool sometimes but I'm telling you, you elevate yourself and you get yourself up on that mountain, I tell you, you you'll see things happen in your life that you, can, you can't even explain. So, have a blessed day.